Um, you know, I'm pleased with the progress that we made as a team uh, through the first three games. I think, you know, sometimes you lose sight of the fact that we are three and zero. Um, we we have, you know, improved in a lot of area of, uh, areas of our team, and we'll continue to focus on the technical aspects of what we need to do to uh, improve in some other areas, get some mistakes and mental errors corrected, and continue to try to develop. You know the players so that they have a better opportunity of being successful uh, in whatever we have to defend or whatever we have to attack on offense or whatever we have to play against on special teams. You know we had some players that played re really well in this game: uh, Jalen, Damian Harris, Bo Scarborough, Bradley Bozeman on offense, Keith Holcomb, Levi Wallace, Deron Payne on defense, special teams: J.K. Uh, Mac Wilson. Andy uh, all did a good job, um, you know, in, in their particular areas. Uh, from an injury standpoint, um, I don't know what the status of these guys will be. We'll see how they progress through the week. But Rashawn Evans and Anthony Jennings and Dylan Moses will all return to practice today. Uh, Miller Forsall is out. Um, you know, what we thought was the issue in the case after the game uh, is the case, and he will need surgery. Uh, we certainly look forward to uh, the SEC. Um, this is our opener uh, on the road against a very good Vanderbilt team who, uh, as you all know, just uh, beat uh, K-State, who was a ranked team. And uh, they are 3-0. and They have a lot of starters back, nine on offense, seven on defense. Uh, their defense leads the nation in scoring defense. And, um, you know, Cal Shermer is the leading passing efficiency quarterback in our league. Um, they do a great job in terms of their coaching and how they attack people, how they play on offense and defense, very sound, very well coached in, in all areas and uh, very balanced in terms of run pass. And uh, they've got three receivers that all pretty much share um, in how they spread the ball around. So uh, this is a very good overall team. and. Uh, probably a team that um, deserves to be in the top 25. Okay. Starting back with Cecil. Uh, Coach, this is kind of a layman question, but looking at Vanderbilt defensively, they, they come out in some really odd fronts sometimes, guys in, in different places, different looks. Could you sort of explain to us what they're doing defensively and how you approach that? Well, I think. Um, you know, most of the stuff that they do that is exotic um, is on loose play downs. Um, but I think what they're trying to do is create issues in the offensive line. You know, all offensive linemen want to know who the four down in the mic are. That's who we have to block. All right, so when they're doing these kinds of things, it makes it much more difficult for them to ID the front uh, and know who to block. So it's creating confusion. Uh, to some degree, uh, but also they do a good job from a schematic standpoint of being able to attack you out of those things and uh, get pressure, and uh, they've got some really good players to do it. A couple of the defensive guys told us after the game Saturday they were going to have a come to Jesus meeting today. They wanted it to be only defensive players. What is your philosophy on uh, player-only meetings. Do you go to the leaders of the defense and maybe encourage that, or do you leave it to them? No, I, I think it's really up to the players. But I also think that um, you know every player's got to look at what they have to do to try to improve and get better. Um, I think everybody can contribute in a more positive way by uh, just a little better execution. The effort was good in the game. The toughness was good in the game. Um, and really, for three quarters in the game, we played pretty well against a pretty good offensive team. We just didn't finish the game like we needed to. So um, I don't think anybody needs to be panicking. And um, you know, I, I, I don't. I think the leadership on the team uh, is making an attempt to affect other players, maybe to prepare a little bit better, eliminate some of the mental errors, uh, play together as a unit, um, communicate a little better. Uh, these are all things that the coaches will certainly emphasize to the players to try to help them play better. It's our responsibility to get that across. Um, but, you know, we don't want these things to be like feel-good meetings where 
you know, everybody feels good when they leave, but they were concerned when they started. So, you know, it could be good or bad depending on how it's handled. Come back in the middle with Michael. Right, just going back to, to the film, when you look at that, how did they do uh, defensively and offensively on third down? How did that uh, efficiency look? Well, I think I mean, you guys get stat sheets after the game, don't you? I mean, you see what they did on third down. We didn't do very well on third down. We didn't get off the field on third down. We actually had three penalties that gave them first downs, you know, on third down in really critical situations and critical drives, especially in the fourth quarter. Um, so we need to do a better job, you know, in those areas. And um, I, I think we're very capable of doing that, and we'll continue to work on it. What kind of role can guys like uh, Levi Wallace or Jamie Mosley have in the defense as they kind of try and form an identity on that side of the ball? Well, Levi plays corner, so the best identity he can do is cover his guy. Um, so um, Jamie Mosley has done a good job of doing his job, um, and um, we're, we're pleased with the way he's been able to fill in and uh, prepare well, not make a lot of mental errors, be in the right place. Um, so, you know, I, I think that he plays with a lot of effort and a lot of toughness, and um, you know, this this that's kind of what we start with and what we build on around here. So, um, you know, you like to reinforce all those things in a positive way. On the left side with John. I know you haven't played Vanderbilt with Coach Mason there, but can you kind of tell they had a lot of returning starters? They're a lot they're more familiar with this system. Can you kind of see that on film, their maturity? Oh, yeah, no question. I mean, they do a great job of executing uh, both sides of the ball. Um, and I think the results that they've gotten so far this season certainly bear that out. Uh, the quarterback's a really good player. Um, and he, he's very efficient in what he does with their offense, run and pass. Uh, they make some explosive plays. They run the ball effectively. They're physical, uh, same way on defense. So um, there, there's no question about the buy-in to the program uh, and the job that he's done there. You mentioned how three of your injured linebackers will return to practice today. How much can, can their potential return to the field help your defense? Well, that remains to be seen. You know, first of all, we don't know how healthy those guys are going to be and how fast they'll get up to uh, top speed, and we won't know that until later in the week in terms of we see how their, you know, sort of rehab's going and, um, you know, try to make a decision on how we can use them in the game and how effective they can be. Just want to get your opinion on how the secondary is held up in coverage, and also we've seen a few corner blitzes. How do you think those guys have done in terms of timing those and trying to get home? Well, you know, we got pressure a couple times last week. The ball came out quick on screens and so forth, and we missed tackles, and um, so we need to clean some of those things up. But um, all in all, um, we have not gotten the kind of pressure on the quarterback and effect of the quarterback the way we want to, regardless of who's blitzing. Um, we've seen a whole lot of screens um, to try to slow us down. Um, and I think that we just have to play those plays and continue to be aggressive and try to affect the quarterback. I think that's really, really important when you play against a good passing quarterback, which certainly is going to be the case this week. Coach, you said before the season about Mink, it would be up to the other guys how they play to determine where he, will, where he would play through three games. Are you comfortable where you have him right now on the field, or do you feel like maybe he could help you in a different spot? No, I, I, I'm I'm pleased with where we are right now. You know, Hootie's played really well. Uh, Ronnie's played well. Um, you know, the the two corners have been okay so far, and um, so you know we're comfortable with him playing where he's played. Uh, this team will be in a lot more regular. You know, this week probably about 80 percent of the time in regular downs, which we haven't played against much, and. Um, you know, so he'll be back to safety for the most part in, in that part of the game. Left side, Ryder. It's been a really long time since you guys have committed a turnover since the Iron Bowl last year. How much has that um, related to the fact that Jalen is really 
you know, even improved his ball security and just, um, and how would you describe his decision making? Well, he's done a good job so far. I, I think his production has improved in every game. Uh, his efficiency has improved in every game. Uh, he would be the first to tell you there's things that he can work on like every player on our team. Uh, and we're certainly going to try to help him do that so that he can continue to develop and progress and uh, be even more efficient in what he does. But, um, you know, we harp on ball security. The first thing we do in practice every day is ball security drills. We include him in those drills. Um, and he has done a much better job of uh, taking care of the football. And we've done a really good job of that on offense as a whole. Hey, Coach, uh, how would you evaluate the place kicking through three games? How's Andy progressed through these three games? I, I think he's done a nice job. I mean, we, did, we missed a long one. Uh, J.K. hit it well. Um, uh, I was hopeful that we would get an opportunity so that J, J.K. would get a chance to kick. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with it so far. Uh, he's done a good job. Um, he's uh, done especially good job in the area, you know, inside the 42-yard line, 42-yard field goals, which um, is kind of, you know, what our expectation is for him. So um, I think he's done a really good job so far. Let's go here in the middle with Alex. So what have you seen from Ralph Webb? He's one of those guys that's been around the league for a long time. Uh, Vanderbilt's running back, Webb. Just how have you seen him kind of grow in his career and this year maybe – it actually hasn't been what's been in the past, but he's still up there. Yeah, he's he's a good player. I mean, they do a good job of running the ball. They're physical on the offensive line. Uh, he's a really good downhill runner. He's physical. These guys play hard. Um, you know, he, he runs with a lot of toughness and tenacity, and um, I think he's a really good player. Last two, Tara and Scott. How much have you seen out of Vandy's defense, specifically the secondary so far? Well, you know, I go through the course of the week. I haven't watched their defense a whole lot just in one game, uh, but they've done an outstanding job. I mean, to give up 95 yards a game passing is pretty good, um, regardless of what the competition is. So they played extremely well, but their front does a good job of affecting the quarterback as, as well. Okay, we'll finish things off with Scott. Nick, I was curious, since you're a secondary guy, defensive guy, I know turnovers are great. Does it mean more when you have some like we did uh, the other night with tip balls and different things as opposed to just a straight pick? It means well, I, I, I think a pick is a pick. So you're always happy when you're a DB to get one, no matter how it comes to you. But um, I do think that when you have people breaking on the ball, um, that those opportunities will come along. And that's something that we always try to emphasize with our players that, hey, you're going to break on the ball. 25 times and then all of a sudden there's going to be a tip ball or something where you're going to have an opportunity to make a play on the ball and you got to do it every time so that you're there when the opportunity presents itself and um, you know we, we, we need to really emphasize attacking the football uh, we have not created and we've got some interceptions but we haven't created the turnovers that we'd like uh, and that's something that uh, we really really emphasize and really want to uh, continue to do as we go into SEC play and hopefully get a little better result. Okay. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.